Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please. Children of Morta, no reason to, to stall here. We beat a boss in the last episode, unlocked a new character, and uh, fully upgraded. So, I was gonna say we unlocked something. The Lost Trenches. We could go back to the Silk Caverns. But like, why not try to just go straight for the... You know, he is only level zero. I don't know, we might need to go to the Silk Caverns with Kevin. Maybe he's a little understated, but we gotta investigate this new area, right? And we got a we got a new character, new area. What kind of person would I be if I went? No, let's take Scattered old bones, character in a new area. So if my flesh, man's got three dodges. Stark contrast to the dead, left untouched. Hunger and malice thrived. The lost trenches, the new residence of the goblin hordes. Kevin is quick and stealthy. With each hit, he stacks Frenzy. The more Frenzy he has, the quicker his attacks become. The color of the Frenzy bar represents the amount of Frenzy. Frenzy depletes over time. Okay. You might question the parental skill of sending, you know, your young child into the area of the goblin hordes for his first big mission. But you know what? Uh... Kevin, like the rest of the Bergsons, is immortal. So, who cares what you have to say? So, my big hope... Oh, he's popping. He's fed. You can't stop a fed Kevin. He can only stop himself. Look at this. He's out of control. I will say, you know... Stam management and HP are both proving to be somewhat of a problem. But I'm hoping we get a lot of experience for being down here. Um, because I think we're batting a little bit above our... Or punching a little bit above our weight class right now. Hopefully, the enemies... I don't know if they scale to our level. Or, you know, if that is completely antithetical to the idea of a game like this, you know? You don't want enemies to scale to your level. We need some kind of, like, crowd control. If we're gonna make this work, we need to be able to keep enemies at bay while we deal with the ones in front of us. Good, good, good. He's not gonna get a chance. He's gonna get a chance, though. Okay, so it's a much faster pace of play with Kevin. My man is about to level up, though. When you see the perp, you get out of the way. There's level one. It does pause for us when we upgrade, but, you know. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like hearing the butcher in Diablo. It's like, uh, what was that? Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it just stacks Frenzy better. It just makes Frenzy better. Or, at least a flurry of knives in all directions. So I definitely want to start there. Let's not go there just yet. I want to start there so we have another tool in the toolbox. Oh, okay, let's uh, sneak around here. So far that first encounter was hard, but for me, I'm like, you know, no reason to think we can't hold our own in there. Okay, it's, it's a pretty bad start to be honest. Oh, they dropped a potion for me. Thank you very much. Frenzy's getting out there. Now, our cooldown, I don't think, changes. Which is to say... Yo. It's a very satisfying playstyle. I don't think the cooldown on our right-click changes as, uh, as we get further and further. Yo, do you see the crit on the right-click there? It's a scary place to be. We are about to level up again, though. No, well, we're close. The heck is that? It's a divine grace. Heals a portion of your health once in a while. I'm not upset. Yo, and this is greater max HP, right? Yeah. Well, if you're ever gonna desire... an HP-driven run, you're likely gonna want it the most on your first run as a character. When you don't know what the heck you're doing, and you're gonna say, "Anel, you never know what the heck you're doing." 
Well, be that as it may. <laughs> My point still stands. Okay, they're they're getting in there with consecutive attacks. Be careful. Don't forget to loot that body. Loot that body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. I really needed the HP, so I, I very much appreciate it. Screw. Excuse me, sir. Can you not? We got healed anyway by the thing, but like, I'm embarrassed for my own sake. Ooh, Skittles? Increases the amount of Morv gained. Not really something I would look for for myself right now to make a successful run, but hey man, if it helps us get more uh, money over the course of the run. Sorry, it's more Morv, my mistake. Why not? Um, so I will, I'll put another point in here. I know I said we should save the second point, but I actually, like, I'm not sure it matters. Now that it seems like your, your save point, or your, your skill point is saved, even if you die. Um, well, I guess that means you, you should spend it, or shouldn't spend it. But I'm like, dude, I want to get an advantage out of it right away. So I, I guess what I'm saying is I don't really care about inefficient skill point usage. If, whoa. Great shot. Uh, if I'm just trying to, uh, you know, su survive on a run as long as possible. Probably I've over-justified myself now and it's weird, but I can't stop. A not so innocent game okay, chance, chance and memory. memory. I'm watching. Start left. Left was wrong. Oh. Did we fail? Did I miss a pattern or something? No, the, the item's still hanging out there. I don't think I missed anything. Only hard part is before you get the frenzy up. Okay, so it's not left. Middle? Middle right? Not left. Okay, but we know the order now. By definition, it must be 2, 3, 4, 1. So I imagine we probably get three chances. We're very lucky to get two in a row right on this one. Two, three, four, one. That was the stroke of, of probability working out in our favor. Yo, okay, no, it's just a charm, but still. I thought that was the ult that allows you to heal like semi-permanently. Well, I mean, it's... I say semi-permanently. It's a heal, but, you know, it doesn't heal your HP permanently because, uh, you know, you can get hit again. Sorry, I should just teleport back. By a TP scroll. Okay, so I think we're down to the next floor. Why not? Kevin, you're doing great, sweetie. You've almost caught up to Jonathan. Jonathan Wick, a.k.a. John Bergson, your Captain uncle? Captain Dyer's will... The goblin hordes never dared to linger in her caves. Did you have Their to? place was in the bloodless forest, banished by their brutality. Okay, we got some large marges. Remember the large marges? They don't get stun locked, so you gotta be care. You gotta be more careful than you're being. These guys. You can stun lock them. You can keep them in frenzy for the rest of the, you know their natural lives if you want. No gemstones. Yo, I didn't see the arrow until it was too late. Twice. <laughs> Watch your perps. Not today. Not today. Oh, the frenzy's crushing it. You will not stop me. Oh! Okay, good enough. I didn't realize I was standing on spikes. That's my mistake. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. Still got HP. You still got HP. I can live with that. We, we picked up a great chunk of gold there. I just don't want to be sucked onto the spikes, please. Oh, but the spikes killed you. Okay. Still going. Hey, I, I don't mind getting into a bit of a, an uncomfortable situation as long as we learn something. A protector that occasionally provides armor and uh, provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. So, 
We should have a little, I'm assuming, incoming damage reduction and then basically like a dice roll to see if we negate all incoming damage. I really appreciate not being insincere. Uh, our defensively minded build here that I think the game has basically gifted to us. Now, if I could stop walking into enemies, that would be beautiful. So I did use my charm. Mostly because I don't want to die. Come on, I was just going to say, we got to be close to a combo popping off. Oh, God. They're like perfectly spaced to be frustrating to dodge right now. Okay, let's stop combo there if we have to. We got so close. Level four, right after this guy. Dude! Okay, so we can't... Uh... No, we're only level three, I guess. Fair enough. We have one more level to go than I originally thought. But it'll give us a bonus to the whole family. Oh, we got lucky to catch him mid-attack. I'm hoping that the bonus is, uh, I mean, extra dodge chance would be extremely sweet. Thanks. I'm actually, but I guess the keeping the character uh, theming properly, I would bet on it being extra crit chance, but... I might be wrong. What do I know? Yo, we're at the end of the floor already. You know what this means? We're, we're headed for a boss fight. The shopkeep fight. said he would like to offer a discount for his rescue, but there have not been many customers lately. Well, that's cool and all, but how about a discount because I have no uh, gemstones? Either way, we should get a look at the items, you know, get a feel for what they might do for us if we get enough. <laughs> Increased primary attack damage at the... Okay, so... It's a deal with the devil. More damage, less HP. Reroll all divine graces. Very interesting. Not that I want to do it, but very interesting. Chance to throw an axe while attacking. Drop a divine item. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting indeed. What do you think, Ruka? I don't know. I think I'd rather just open a chest. We'll see if that proves foolish. Oh, okay, so we got... Sh ah, don't be there. It's all problem solving, you know? How did I get hit there? Okay, this the first step of good problem solving here is not just running in a circle to kite as many en enemies as possible, I think. Um, if you gotta take a hit there, you gotta take a hit there. That's okay. You're stuck on the tent. You're stuck on the tent. This is uh, mission critical. Get the heck out. Okay, the frenzy is, is beautiful. Run. Oh, no, you shocked me. Frenzy's beautiful. Okay. I'm back. I'm feeling better. We did get a gemstone. Keep rolling here. Like, literally keep rolling, but also, like... You know, keep rolling onwards. You should never abandon your dudes. You know, when there's one dude, it's a very easy task to take him out. It's only when there's multiple enemies that that Kevin starts to succumb. Look at this. I mean, that's just, that's a beautiful sight. I don't think I should have done this, but here we are. I don't know what's going on in that other room either. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know. Okay, we're just playing it cool for now. Playing it cool. Nothing down there. I mean, we're going to have to hit him at some point. Probably can't just kite him forever. Um, the occasional hazard. Certain degree of helpfulness. Body. Body. Just 
Just make it's it's very soulsy for a second here. You just have to make sure you got the stam for a roll and dude. Can't complain. Plus, we're so morve rich, we don't even know what to do with it. Thank God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, man. Shall we? I, I kind of want to stall temporarily because I think there's a pretty realistic chance that's the death of us. And if we're going to die, I want to die on my terms. I think this is the exact same thing, isn't it? It's a, like a champion room? No, this is just a journal. Okay. Every evening. Caravan found. Found Delilah. Joined Drake and myself in searching. It feels like the good old days with the gang. We found the caravan, but were unable to reach it in time. The travelers are deceased, cause of death unknown, but a dark substance oozes from them. We seek to consult with Anaidaya on the cause. Thanks, Adam. I really appreciate the pedestrian nature of the names in this game. In most games, it's like... Erba! What did you see in the cursed crypt? And in this game, they're like, yeah, it's Kevin. Adam's the leader of the expedition. Well, shoot coward, you're only gonna kill a man. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we got poison champion. These guys. Y'all get out of the poison. These guys, on the whole, should not be that bad. It's just, again, it's a puzzle, you know? I would like to build frenzy. But it's important to me. You know, we take out the ranged units ASAP. Dude, we're getting so many heals. I don't know if this is a disproportionately high number of heals. Could not or if we're just insanely, you know, fortunate to have gotten the item. We're lucky in one department, you know? We're either lucky we got the item. To the taste or we're lucky it's hitting so much. And full of nutrients. Okay, so we I think that was the second dog quest item. For, for lack of a better word, I, I think that item relates to our quest of dogs. I mean, what can you say, you know? We got one gemstone. Take me. I think we do want to buy this right here. Oh, you got to hold it, maybe. Oh, I, I already bought it and used it. He has like a unlimited supply, I guess. I don't know. Um, we're probably gonna die against the boss, but it still is a pretty okay start as far as Kevin goes. This death, the air was stale. Or maybe Thin there's another the grindy floor before the boss. Because we didn't get any loot here. Blood. Yeah, I don't think there's any lootables unless the skull. No, that's that's a floor tile. Okay, okay. Oh, it's a no- okay. Thank God. Because honestly, I'm not ready for a boss fight. Will I be ready for a boss fight after another floor? Also, probably not, but... To hit level 4, it's like hitting 32,000 on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. They can't take that money away from you. At least we'll get a passive benefit we can use with everyone else. Plus, I, I can just hear the game developers, like, screaming right now. They're like, he's so good! Please! Stop beating the game so quickly. We need- we have so much more story. How are we gonna introduce the other characters? Well, you know. You gotta remember, you're dealing with a world-class gamer here. A world-class gamer. Who is at present running from his problems. Cause, uh... I mean, look at these guys. They're very strong. Look, I can do this all day. I'd rather not stand in the poison. Beautiful. Okay. Where are we at on gold? 730. Definitely our richest run ever. And we are about to level up again. Why are you such a problem? Okay. Oh, dude, beautiful crit, too. I love a crit chance build, because it's like a productive slot machine. You know what I mean? Every time you see those golden numbers, you're just like, this is beautiful. Small chance to recover health when attacking. Um, everything I know about 
RPGs, roguelites, etc., etc., tells me anything that procs on attack plus fast attack speed is going to be beautiful. So I'm very stoked. Oh, I walked right into the the aftershock on that one. Uh, I'm very stoked. I'm seeing we're getting a little bit of little bit of healing. Not really worth it just for Morv. What do you think about this one, dude? <laughs> yeah, my generally my principle as of right now is. Uh, whoa, that was close. My principle right now is whenever possible, save the hard stuff till the end. Are we really not level four yet? Oh, we gotta assign our skill point first. I think, let's go Frenzy. Increases critical damage. Okay, so we get a passive critical damage benefit. I don't know if I was talking coherently a second ago. What I meant to say is, save the hard stuff till the end. If a room seems like it's gonna be tough, I would rather go further and then see, you know, if the mood strikes us after that point. We can only get hit by that guy a couple of times, so be very careful. This guy summons enemies to his cause. Well, I guess to him they're not enemies, they're, they're frenemies. Good heals. Feeling good, man. I mean, like... Who would have thought that, uh, you know, Kevin was our, he's the star pupil right now. I think I just like characters that excel in one specific area. And here's the thing. Kevin, excellent up close and personal melee. Linda, great range. Yo, it's Wonder Woman's lunchbox. Upon receiving a fatal blow, revive at a modest portion of maximum health. It's a respawn. Um, Linda, great at range. John, he's got a big sword, but he's not really good at range. He's not really that good at melee so far either. He's kind of like, I guess he's like the paladin type. Well, actually, I guess more succinctly and accurately, he's like the rogue, or sorry, the warrior. Or the Barbarian. But I don't like taking damage when I can avoid it. I know uh, you might be like, could have fooled me. <laughs> Good one. Yo! Okay. It's a shopkeeper. I can't afford your stuff, dude. I miss when you just gave me uh, an item for free in here. But I guess now you give me an item every floor and a shop. So it's not like we're missing out. You will never stop me here. Okay, you might stop me. I got a little greedy. I got a little cocky. And I'm seeing a lot of attack animations get through to us. You know, I have to be honest. If there's, I, I don't really have a complaint about Children of Morta so far. Essentially at all. If I have one complaint, it's that sometimes I find it a little hard to read the passive skills. Not like, you know, font size or font choice, but rather, uh, I find it hard to tell, like, in, when it was talking about Kevin's frenzy, I was like, I don't know if this means, like, let me, let me show you. Maybe I just didn't read it properly. Yeah, what does duration two, or sorry, duration nine versus duration 11 mean for us specifically? Frenzy takes longer. Uh, to decay? Does it take longer to decay per unit? Does it take uh, longer to decay from 100 to full? Or 100 to zero, I should say. I get that it sounds like I'm being pedantic, but I just mean like, you know, specifically. Let's peep it, I'm ready. Found an item. Mask of the Eastern Goddess. Maybe I shouldn't just destroy everything in the camp. I want to be clear, that's not even close to, like, a game-breaking criticism. Monster Manual was misspelled Monster Manuel in The Binding of Isaac for literally, like, four years. Probably longer, actually, now that I think about it. That's just, if I have one piece of criticism, that's where I'm at right now. You gotta go. 
you gotta go. Who would have thought? The NES principle holds true. Birds and other flying enemies, still by far the most annoying enemy type in the whole freaking game. But we are cruising. Like, it's not... It's at that perfect spot in, like, the difficulty curve right now. Where it's not so easy that, like, we're getting bored. But it we're just constantly, like, a little on edge. Have to focus. But it doesn't feel even close to insurmountable. Like, I feel like this is a... If I was setting, a, like, a, a goal for success... I think, like, at least having a decent chance against the boss is where I want to be right now. Yo! A charm. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. So you've done me an incredible service. First off, you've given me an item. And secondly, you've taught me that corrupted... Or enemies spawn... Corpses when they die. Which in turn... No. No, 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 let me out. Which in turn get corrupted and spawn other enemies. I must have missed that earlier. Just keep kiting. You know, I played some Geometry Wars in my day. I walked to the the car showroom in Project Gotham Racing 2 and played Geometry Wars before you knew it as Geometry Wars Retro Evolved. Spikes. Yo, I think some of those guys walk through the spikes. Dude. Yo, all of his, uh, all of his minions died. Beauty. When he died, all of the all of the minions under his control died too. No, 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 no. Okay. So I think again, did a pretty good job on this floor. Oh, there is a little bit more to do. Is this the this must be the boss door, like. So let's make our way back up. I don't know, man. I think I found my guy. Kevin. He's just, he's a dominant performer. Yes, finally. We have a totem. Um, which is basically, oh no, yeah, it is an ult for us. Uh, I don't know how useful knockback is gonna be, but. I'm willing to I'm willing to entertain the idea. I I refuse to get hit by a single enemy there. All right, what's going on in here? The camp lay in ruin. Serene prayers had fallen on deaf ears, leaving a voyage of hope with none at all. The monster's eyes lacked remorse. Or even the slightest hint of reason. Well, first off, that was very rude. Secondly, just a few of these guys. Not that big of a problem. But now I'm realizing they're spawning other dudes. Okay. I'm like, how's, how does the knockback work? actually is going to be maybe a little bit harder than I originally gave it credit for. Yo, the frenzy though. Just go for it. Just go for it. Beauty. Get out of here. Yo, and a new no item. One can always be there in time. Okay. A sad truth. Damages enemies on no contact. Big. But then what's this? Found an item, a playing ball. Oh, we got a bunch of items. I thought I thought we had a choice. Even better. So we got a lot of quest items. Once this is over, I would prepare for a little bit of tutorialization. Because I think uh, oh, we have one gemstone. Why not try to heal unless maybe we could buy something else? We'll probably heal the full anyway, but we might as well buy one. Um, well, what I was going to say, prepare yourself for some cutscenes after this. Whether we live or die, inevitably, we're going to get some story here, because we just had, like, an incredible run. We got 1,400 gold on this run. 
with a level the one character. That now threatened the hero. Yo, this guy's straight out of crawl. Focused inferno of First, hatred and I pop my charm so that you're not as likely to summon corruption from these corpses. I don't even know if that'll work for us here or has any relevance whatsoever, but... Yo, he's, tra he's trapped in the corner. Just keeping it cool. Yeah, good hit. Three hits there. Dude, I don't know. I don't want to get cocky. We have taken some damage. But I don't see any reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I see a reason why we can't maybe do this on our first try. So we want to focus one. Oh, no. You're not the same. Definitely want to take out uh, Charging Beast first. Very simple video game principle. Thank you for the dodge. He's close, dude. Just kite him until you find your moment. That was our moment, but we whiffed a little. It's okay. Still got it. Oh, still got a decent chunk of HP left. Okay, we gotta remember. We got a huge crit there, but yeah, that's the tell on the jump. Very, very slight bit of damage. Definitely could be faster. Oh, why didn't I dodge? I literally thought to myself, well, we might not need to dodge here. Big miss, but I, I think we got him. As long as you keep a dodge ready for whenever he does his jump, then you just get back in there. Hit him with the occasional right click. Yo! Breath. The Manuscript of agility. Became motionless. I don't mean to brag. Creatures twisted by the I think I found my dude. Kevin's my guy. Rest. A path to be cleared of the corruption and the jewel of life to be restored. The realm of Anaya Dyer. Uh, Anaya Dyer? More like I ain't dying ever again. Before embarking for the spirit halls, however, the family must be informed of the newly opened passage. Well, let me just be the first to say, Kevin, you did a great job. <laughs> you did some wonderful work. You found a journal. You found a cave web. I can't scroll down because when I click it, it moves me onwards. Yo, this is actually uh, Wolf from Sekiro. <laughs> While painful for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long. Mary knew she would make caring for Mark. New character. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated, or worse, taken over by the corruption. I hate to tell you this, Mark. Soon succumbed to fatigue. If it comes down to giving the medicine to you or the dog, Mary it's going to be a tough sell. The hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat more. The Bergsons would once again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. I can do that. But aren't you worried that I'm going to be so good at it lay dead that nothing can stop me? The pilgrims were now safer their caves but the last step remained to be taken the warriors knew only that somewhere in the expanse of the caves was the ancient halls of the spirit who would reveal new truths to them you say new truths i say passive stat benefits mark was out of the woods now. His fever gone. He was almost up and about. Welcome back, brother, said Kevin.
Maybe we don't need to get the medicine because we've cleansed all evil from the caves. Like, he seems like he's he's going to be unlocked right now. And he's a melee build, maybe? He had avoided conflict over the years, living in... Oh, he's like nature. a... But his Uncle Ben was fond of saying... A like a martial artist. ...forget how to walk before they forget how to fight. Well, that was fast. Dude, we're seeing new content at an incredible pace. This might be one more scene? No. Okay. We got a new souvenir. Oh, Mark is still weak. I guess he has to rest more. Oh, Mark is available. Okay. He will now stand by his family's side and fight. Agility upgrades unlocked. Souvenir. Souvenir. Kevin is now playable. Oh, really? Oh, really? So, agility. Increases the chance to dodge attacks. I also love that. Um, so obviously things get way more expensive. We'll just stay like, we'll stay pretty balanced, okay? So like, let's get a better dodge chance. Um, wow, it goes fast, huh? It goes quickly, I should say. I'll get armor up and I will get another level of base attack damage. Why not speed? Well, I mean, the main reason is it's, it's expensive. But we do get speed from, like, Linda's level 4 benefit anyway. Um, for now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. That was a really, really good one. We'll be back to play as Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> You've seen the movie. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, hey, check out the game for yourself on Steam. It's real good. If it's out elsewhere, check it out there, too. Apart from that, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.